up. I've been changing things up on my guitar, and sometimes it's too high up that I can't get the thing off. I've been thinking lately about like the necessities of having to work. I never thought I'd have to work out. I thought I could have a life of complete non-exercising if I was in position. <laughs> but I realized that like I can't even get the capo off the guitar. <laughs> Which, speaking of which, if Chris Saunders is still here, I don't know if he is, yeah. Um, speaking of exercising, I was super inspired. Last week I, I got to go to um, this wonderful summit at a beautiful farm in Pittsfield, Vermont, called um, Riverside Farm. And it was a whole weekend where the 431 Project, which is this initiative of artists and scientists and thinkers and innovators and all different kinds of people come together to think about and talk about how to create a healthier next generation since the, uh, the next generation is supposed to live five years shorter, I believe five years shorter than ours, which is crazy. Lifespans are not supposed to get shorter. Um, and so I got to go to this amazing summit that was super inspiring and I fell in love with kale. I love it. I'm ready to eat acorns. Uh, it was great. Like I came home and I felt so good. We ate the best food, and and um and the people there were so inspiring and and really ready to create change. And it was it was super cool. So you guys should check out the 431 project. Say hi to Chris. He's here. He's the one who got me there. He knows everybody there, and it's an incredible initiative. So figure out what you can do if you work in a school or something. Um, talk to Chris. Healthier lunch menus, all kinds of stuff. It was super cool. The song is called Change. Ben came up just for the sad song. Somebody who does this for real, and um, they brought me here. And I saw a Laurie McKenna show on this stage, and it was the best night ever. And uh, from there on, I fell in love with all of these, I you know, people like Mark Arelli and Laurie McKenna and Alex Dubica and all of these, all these singer songwriters in the scene. And I, um, I fell in love with this. And I, I would think about every time we were going to the scene, and you know, you know, you can feel Bob Dylan in the walls and Joan Baez and all this stuff. But the coolest thing to me was the most intimidating thing to me was that um, everybody who stood on the stage could successfully tune while they talked. And it's taken me a very long time to figure that out and I still screwed up all the time. So um, sometimes I feel like I'm not worthy of being up here until I can, until I can do it in the moments like that happen. Underneath my bed, and she 
and